An eastern Kentucky couple says it made a heartbreaking loss even worse. They say the days after their young son died, someone set up a GoFundMe page claiming to be raising money for them. But they say they don't know the person and they fear this fundraiser is only scamming people. Caitlin Sentner has our top story at six. I've known the Brown and Tackett family, Ballard family, all my whole life. I've lived here. Rick Stiltner is the judge executive in Menifee County, but he doesn't just work with Josh Brown. He's a good friend of Josh and his wife, Alicia. Their four-year-old son, Jackson, he says lived a lot. Jackson was an outgoing young man. Uh, he never met a stranger, and uh, he's a pretty smart little young man. Jackson, I'm told, was perfectly healthy, but not long ago, things took a turn. They took him to the doctor, and then from the doctor's office, then they took him by ambulance to the Kentucky Children's Hospital, and then a few days later, he passed away. As family dealt with funeral arrangements for their young son, they were told about a fundraising page in Jackson's name. It's since been taken down. We were able to view an earlier version of the page, but the reason for wanting money is vague. Uh, I can't even imagine that you would do that. It's bad enough uh, to do it in other ways, but for a, for a four-year-old child to lose their life, from such a serious health issue and for someone to, to obtain personal gain from that. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. State police confirmed they're investigating and have attempted to talk with a woman from Moorhead who is believed to have started the page. Investigators say charges can only be filed if the woman doesn't give money raised to the family. In Menifee County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Well, the family did create a fund in Jackson's name at Traditional Bank. Those donations will go directly to Kentucky, Kentucky Children's Hospital.